Hey friends, welcome to my channel, Crafting with Joanne Barandi. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how I make these pinwheels that I'm gonna be using for my Easter decorations. So friends, join me, let's get started. Amiguitas, hoy voy a hacer estas bonitas cosas que son decoración para fiestas o reventones. Acompáñenme. Okay, friends, today I have this quick and easy craft for you, and it's how- I'm, I'm putting two minutes on the clock for you. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> it's, it's real simple. It's how I make my pinwheels, and I use my pinwheels for decorations for all kinds of parties and all kinds of seasons. So to start off, you're gonna need nine bags. Uh, I uh, am gonna make these multicolored, so I have three purple, three yellow, and three kind of pinkish bags. And I'm gonna put my finger protectors on. You're gonna need nine bags, and this is so fast and easy, friends. And then you've got a nice decoration for your parties or your photo booth or... Did you pick this up uh, making lunches for us when we were kids? No, <laughs> actually, you know, this idea was on Facebook not too long ago, uh, but I, that's not where I picked it up. You're not going to believe this. I picked it up when I was uh, teaching cat, fifth grade catechism one year, and a little girl um, was assigned to make the star for the manger, and she told me she needed nine white lunch sacks, uh, Elmer's glue, and some grown-up scissors, and... Um, I thought, what is she going to make? And then she glued these bags with the Elmer's glue. And then the following Wednesday, she opened it up and she needed a piece of yellow construction paper. And she cut out a star and she glued it in the center of the pinwheel. And I thought, oh my goodness, this child is amazing. So that's where I first saw the pinwheel done. And then later I saw it going around Facebook and now I know other crafters do it on their channel. Um, but I just wanted to share with you because I know that some of you have asked me about it. And I did make uh, one on video last year at Easter. But I wanted to share this with you again. Um, hopefully soon we'll do a walkthrough. Eric wanted to do it today. And I said, oh my gosh, not today, Eric. I just figured it would be nice for people to see how they could use some of the crafts that they make on here to uh, decorate with. So, <laughs> oh, I gotta see my table. Whew. I've got everything ready to decorate my door outside, but it's been so windy or so cold, I just haven't gotten motivated to get out there. So, whew, I've got to get it done. I've got to get my table cleaned off. It is driving me crazy. Okay, I forgot to tell you that you need to start off with the flap. The, the bag needs to be... Yeah, that would have been kind of important to lead with, you know? The <laughs> I feel bad for all the people that have already started this and they're gluing it backwards. <laughs> you need to start off with the flap on top, that side of the bag. This goes really, really fast. I know my last video was long, but... Wow, you know what? I've already seen several people make the gingerbread boy. Oh my goodness, adorable. That Debbie Williams, she just did an excellent job on hers. And there was two other ladies that I saw post pictures on our Facebook group page. They're amazing. We'll, we'll find them and put them up. Oh yes. I'll post them up on here. Yes, because I want to give them credit because oh, they just did a wonderful job. All right, I'm gonna take a pair of, you need a pair of good scissors. And I like to do this, this is optional. You don't have to do it, but I like to cut a little triangle. And I don't even measure, you know me, a trial and error here. Oh, 
I think it isn't too bad, considering we live in a world of precision these days. I know, I just... I don't know, I just don't have the patience to sit there and I never have had. Well, it's much quicker this way. If not, mm -hmm. what are you gonna do, pull out Look, friends. a square and draw some triangles? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know, it takes too long. Exactly. All right, now I'm going to, this is where the magic happens. I'm gonna put my hand in this one, and then in this one. Voila, how easy was that? Friends, look at that. These are so pretty. I used to make these all the time for my photo booths. Okay, to connect all of them and make them a complete circle, I'm gonna do the same thing on this bag. Can you, um, can you see her? Let's see, okay. <clears throat> This where it gets a little hot. And I have my glue gun on low temp. Because it tends to get a little hot. Ay, ay, ay. I think you took your finger well, it's, protectors it's, it's off not, too it's, soon. It's not my finger protectors. It's my hands that I've got to press. But it's press your fingers. My palms. Oh, friends, these are so festive and so pretty and so easy to make. The next thing that I do is I grab, this is some fishing line, and I use this for everything I hang up. Where did you get this at? The fishing store? <laughs> that was my line. <laughs> oh, my bad. Uh, I think I got this at... Walmart maybe a lot, but it lasts forever. I love it. When I hang stuff off my chandeliers and stuff, my lamps, I use the fishing line. Uh, can you tell what I'm gonna do here? Um, let me get what up I close. do. What I do is I get a piece. Hold, hold on a second. And I loop it. Let me stand behind you. Actually, it'll probably be a little easier. Okay, and I loop it. And then I just kind of do this number. Hold on a second. Can we start over? I'm just trying to get a good shot here. <laughs> it's hard to see because it's it's nylon clear see through. Okay. Okay. So hold on. We, Put it over the purple a little bit. Well, that's where I have it. Well, okay. Okay. It was kind of going over to the yellow from where I was at, so okay. it was disappearing. All right. I'm taking that and I'm just making a loop. Okay. okay? You just make a loop. I mean, this is how I do it. You can use anything. You can use um, uh, pipe cleaners. You can use, you can use, uh, what do you call it? Ornament hooks. And see, it turns into a little, see? I mean, kind of. Maybe it'll show up better on the, it's, I'm looking at behind the screen. It's hard to see. Right here, can you see? Kind of. It turns into a loop. And then what I do is I cut it. You probably should have used some color one for demonstration purposes. I don't know that they sell colored fishing line. I'm I sure don't they, know. I'm sure they do. I don't know either. I don't have patience for fishing. I don't either. I'm more of a throw the dynamite in. <laughs> Why does that not surprise me? Now I'm going to probably, I'm going to hang it with the yellow color down. So I'm just going to add a little bit. I am going to put my finger protectors on for this one. And I've got that caulking stuff all over my fingers because I did that, friends, midnight crafting just doesn't agree with me. I, I did that and then I went like that to reach for something and I stuck my hand in it. And got that stuff all over me and I tried to salvage it, but it was all right. It was just for my for demo purposes there. See, I just kind of catch it in there, hold it for a little bit. 
And like I said, friends, soon I'm gonna show you where I put these, how I decorate with these. These are so festive. Look at that. Bam, it doesn't get any easier than this. Now I got the bags at um, Dollar Tree, but I wanna say there's only eight bags to a package. That's why I ended up with multicolored uh, fans because uh, I just try to salvage and use what I have left over. And uh, I thought these would be perfect for Easter. And if you want also, you can add add an embellishment in the middle. Now, I didn't have any more of those, otherwise I would have gone ahead and glued them on. But um, anyway, what I'm saying is that you can mix and match, just use what you have, because I'm gonna be using two of these and one of those to uh, decorate in my kitchen. So, friends, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Friends, I just wanted to point out to you, I posted this picture of uh, this cute little couple for St. Patrick's Day on our Facebook group page, and I was asked if I had a tutorial on it. And no, friends, uh, I don't have a tutorial on it. Um, I painted these on matting board. This is matting board. Uh, how many years ago, Eric, did we say? Uh, like 20 years like ago. Like 20 years ago. So, no, I don't have a, a tutorial video, but I'll work up something for next year, hopefully, God willing. Meanwhile, friends, stay fabulous and do whatever makes you happy. Make a pinwheel. You'll love decorating with them. Love you, friends.